Hold. Can you look over here? Hold. My name is Casey and that is my service dog Elsa. If you are new here, we do all things service dogs. We have vlogs, training videos, educational videos, and the occasional video that's just great for pet dogs. I also do a couple unboxing videos and that is what today is, but today is a little bit more special than just an unboxing video because for me, this is my first sponsored product. and. Um, I'm not getting paid to make the video, but I did contact the company and they sent me the product for free so I could do a video on it and share it with you guys. I ran into this product on Instagram. It's a new product and I think it's a fabulous idea. So that's why I contacted them. I wanted to share it with you guys. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm really excited. They sent me it. It uh, came from Canada, so they're a Can Canadian based company. So let's go ahead and open this up. Super excited to see this. All around, uh, canine hygiene for a service dog is very, very important. So, this is definitely an item I would recommend for any dog. I mean, it's, it's for any dog, but you want to be really specially careful of your service dog's hygiene because... Um, they go into places where normal dogs do not, so we want to make sure they're super clean. So these come in three sizes. They call them bite blocks. They come in three different sizes. I accidentally ripped the packaging off. Um, I got a medium. So I kind of ripped it as it as I pulled it out. Oops. Uh, so they yeah they sent me each color. So they have two colors. They have. The blue, hopefully I get my camera to focus. They have blue here, and they also have orange. So I think these are awesome. They gave me both colors. See, I kind of, as I ripped it out of the package. But yeah, this is called, the company's called Paw Ready. If we can focus, yeah, we can see. Uh, it's called Paw Ready, and this is the bite block. They're probably going to do a couple other um, products. Uh, they do have another product. Actually, this is small. They send me two sizes. Oh, they did. They did send me two different sizes. Okay. All right. So this is the Brush Mate Bite Block. It is a natural rubber brushing aid. Protects fingers and hands while brushing patent pending. So I'm going to just open up this orange one right here. And I used to do this with my smaller dogs. I would put my finger kind of like in the back of her jaw to kind of hold her mouth open so I could really brush. So, but I stopped doing that with um, Elsa because she's a lot bigger and one, my finger is not thick enough to do much. But you can see this is the small. See here, this is the small size. So this would be the size of my previous dog. And that is about the width of my finger. So, it did work with that dog, but with Elsa, she's a little bit bigger, and it didn't really, oh, there's nice instructions on these, I love the packaging, um, this is the medium, so you can see how much bigger it is, how much thicker it is, you know, for the bigger dog, so I'm, I'm really excited, and it has a nice little handle, you put your finger in it, and they have on the inside of the packaging, so I really like kind of basic retail packaging. And then on the inside we have some instructions, which is nice because I really want to know how it used. So uh, number one, insert the bite block into your middle finger. So we'll use the orange one here. So middle finger, having the groove facing upwards. So there's the groove, face upwards, okay. 
with the bite box surface perpendicular to your palm, uh, position your index finger between the groove to secure the bite block in place. Oh, maybe like that? I think that's what it's saying. Uh, number two, insert the bite block into the side of your pet's mouth. Yeah, that's what the, the photo down here shows, so it's like this. Uh, allowing the pet to bite down on the bite block with the hand holding the bite block. Place your thumb on the top of the snout and use your bottom two fingers to steady the jaw under the snout. This will allow for a one-handed control, freeing your other hand to brush your dog's teeth. Be gentle with your grip as a dog's snout can be sensitive. Number three, using a toothbrush with your other hand, brush your dog's teeth on the opposite side of the bite block, making sure to brush the inside and outside. See, that's the thing is you can get the outside really easily and sometimes if your your dog some dog's teeth they kind of like really scissor they're not like on top of each other they kind of scissor and so you really can't even get the bottom teeth really good so you're really just getting those top outer teeth and then the, the inside looks really bad <laughs> and uh, when I first learned that you should brush your dog's teeth and stuff like that I heard that don't really worry about the inside because your dog's tongue takes care of it. But if you ever look at an older dog's mouth, it doesn't. Uh, you really should brush both sides. So this is really cool. It allows you to do that. Um, brush your dog's teeth on the opposite side. Bite, bite block, making sure to brush inside and out. Four, upon completion, remove the bite block from your pet's mouth and repeat on previous steps on the other side of the mouth using the bite block in your opposite hand. So you, We'll see how easy this is for me. I'm pretty multidextrous, so I'm sure with, you know, practice, it's not too hard to do that. Important things to consider, our Paw Ready team highly recommends starting using the bite block on your pet as an early age, as regular brushing on your pet's teeth will get them accommodated to a regular routine of oral care. Please note that your pet may need to be trained to accept the bite block in their mouth, pr uh, progressively building up brushing sessions over time until the pet is comfortable with bite block. Additional time may be required if bite block is introduced to an older pet. Warning, keep out of reach of your pet when not in use. Yeah, this would be probably swallowed very easily. Um, you are responsible for their safety. This is not a toy. The bite block is made from high grade natural rubber. In a rare instance, a fragment is broken off, discard, and do not use again. If you pets follows a bite box fragment, please call your veterinarian. So yeah, basically the same warning that's like why not all like Kongs. You know, it kind of feels like the same rubber. It's a I kind of feel like it's it's kind of like that Kong rubber. So it should be really durable. I don't have a problem for it. But that they say the same thing on Kongs. If if your dog breaks off a piece, then, you know, go get a new one. Don't let them continue to chew on it. So yeah, these are really, really, really cool. So we're going to have to try it. I'm probably going to do a video on training Elsa to use these. We'll see. I think she might just take it. Um, we'll, we'll see how much training she needs, but I'll put together a little tutorial on how, how you can do some training with this. And uh, I will link their website definitely down below. Instagram page. So if you're interested, you can go pick these up. They are a really, really good price. Very reasonably priced. Um, yeah. Okay, so the other thing they sent me is a toothbrush. So they, they just, in, I guess, invented a new doggy toothbrush. So it's a two-sided brush. And uh, this is not on their website at all because I looked and they, they don't have it. Now it did get a little messed up. It's probably because they don't have any packaging for it yet. So it is a little messed up just because they shoved it in the uh, the packaging. So there's like some stray hairs on the smaller side. But they have two sides. It's a really soft bristle, which is nice. It's really hard to find, especially in the smaller size. It's really hard to find a nice soft bristle. And then they have little rubber pieces on the outside. So yeah, I really like it. I like the amount of area 
you have with this one how wide it is but it's not super long and then um yeah it feels like really nice feels like a really nice brush yeah I like I really do like this so I'm excited to try this um I just have like a kitty toothbrush for Elsa I just bought like at the dollar store um I was really curious when they said they were going to send me a toothbrush if they were going to send me one of those um the ones that actually like go around your dog's to teeth because you could actually probably use those easily with these now um, before you, you have to like hold your dog's mouth open and, and scrub those. So I was really interested in what kind of toothbrush they were going to send me. So it's just a, a soft bristle brush. Really ni nice. I love the colors. My favorite color is blue. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. But uh, the only thing I would say is you... I think the bristles on the long, on the short one might be a little too long. I think if they trim it to um, where the rubber is, I think that would be good. It just seems a little long, but it's really soft, so it shouldn't be that hard. Um, I've had to trim bristles before. It's just hard to get them in really small dogs' mouths. Um, so yeah, and really, Small dogs are the ones you need to brush your teeth because they their teeth rot fast. So anyway, yeah. So this is just unboxing of the new pieces. Again, link in the description for their website. Uh, this is not out right now, but you can go ahead and pick yourself up a bite block. And uh, yeah, I think these are so cool and I can't wait to try them. See, this is going to be Elsa's first time. Uh, being introduced to the black bite block and uh I have treats right here. They're her favorite. I know they're probably not the healthiest, but she loves these things. The little tiny milk bones. Yeah. Does that smell good? Okay girl. Alright, so we're gonna go with the blue because that would be her size. This is the medium. And what do you think of that? Smell funny? It always smells like a column. You got fur on your head. Alright, can I can you do a take? Take? Yes. Just gonna kind of make her pick it up basically. See what happens. Also take. Take. Yes. I almost think this is too big for her. What was the weight on here? So the medium is 15 to 85 pounds, and also is 32 pounds, and then the small is 5 to 15 pounds is the recommended size. Nose? I think it'll work. Take. Take. Yes. Does it smell weird? You like don't want to bite on it. Take. Yes. Good girl. That's a good cool girl. Tick. Tick. Good. Hold. Oh. Tick. Hold. Yes. Good. Good job. Tick. Well, oh, you can't take the whole thing. Tick. Tick. Yes. Good. They so gotta teach her to just take one side. Ooh, it's getting slobbery. Tick. Yes. That'll happen when you use treats, though. <laughs> Good girl. Take. Yes. Good job. Take. Yes. See if we could do the other side of her. Uh... Take. Take. Yes. Good job. I like this. Take. Can I take? Yes. Good. Let me get some cute pictures too. Take. <laughs> take. Almost. Take. Yes. Good. Good girl. Take. That, that's the whole thing. Take. Gotta take it. Yes. Good. 
Alright, let me see if I could do it like they recommend. So, like this. Take. Yeah, my hand's there now. Take. All the way. Take. Almost. Take. Good. Hold. No. Take. Take. Come on. Take. You're being so silly, but you're trying. You're trying. Ready? Take. Come on, take. Good. Yes. That was very good. See, training, especially something like this, very much communication. See, I knew she was getting frustrated, so I kind of gave her a freebie just for taking it. And then the next one, she was willing to try, because she knew that she was going to get a treat. You're going to steal one from me. So she actually took it and she took it right. So take. Yes. Good. I want you to take two. Let's see if I can hold her mouth now. Take. Good. Hold. Hold. Good. Okay. Good job. So yeah, I think a couple training sessions with just like introducing it like this. Let's see if I can switch hands now. Tick. Almost. Tick. Tick. Yes. Good. Good girl. Tick. Yes. Good. Good job. Okay, one more. Tick. Hold. Can you look over here? Hold. Okay. Good girl. Alright, so I'll probably rinse this off. <laughs> Got a little slobbery, but I, I I really do like it. So probably a couple little sessions like this just so we have a really good foundation. And then she's willing, um, she is uh, ready for me to try brushing her teeth. Yeah, normally all I do is I kind of do the, the snout grab that, that they were saying. What are you doing? So I kind of like do this normally. So I'll grab very lightly. Like... Like it's saying on the instructions, you grab really lightly. And then I'll take my toothbrush. And then I will just one side and then the other side. So I guess I do switch hands. I didn't think about that. So. You should go, go, go. One, one more. You should go, go. You want to say bye? Yeah, say bye. Yeah, it's a good girl. That's a good girl. If you have liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you are looking for more Surface Dog content, do hit that subscribe button down there, I believe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Good girl!